need to get started here for the faculty pep rally skit. I need some coffee here. I'm going to be honest. Last year's was pretty good. Liv, can I just jump in here? Because I think last year's pep rally may have been too self-indulgent. It's not about our parents. It's about beating Christ School. Beat Christ School! Beat Christ School! Thank you, Hank. Thank you uh, for that intelligent and concise contribution to this endeavor. Beat Christ School! Yes, yes, yes. Point taken. Ah! Oh, oh really? Really? Just guttural prehistoric screams now? Well, let's pull it back to the task at hand, which is let's not forget to... Beat Christ School! Oh, jeez. I can tell we're all going to be challenged in this meeting. Well, let's remain positive, Hazel. We do have to help our parents plan the faculty skit. We can't just rely on pregnancy jokes and a gorgeous lead singer. Which is why we need to establish vis-a-vis -vis our most talented faculty members... Blanking! Excuse me? Let's plank! What the H-E double hockey sticks is planking? Actually, Hazel, Planking is an internet phenomenon that is all the rage this year. The students will really think the teachers are cool. We are not going to have our parents plank. It's utterly irrelevant to the Christ School game. Be Christ School! That boy is wilder than a rhinoceros hopped up on turkey bacon. What we need is a skit that speaks to the epic struggle between Christ School and Asheville School, a live-action representation of the blues coming out on top Oh, dear grief. I just don't know what else to say. That's one tough banana. Bananas! Yes, I indeed. Go bananas, Hank. Yes, go bananas. Well, people, let's try to get back to that planking idea, because most of you know that the 60s had their fair share of plankers. Robert Zimmerman was planking in the village and then came to Black Mountain College. Liv, I'm not sure that the history of planking... Well, I know, I know, but this is a seminal American Studies moment. Planking! Next, you're going to try to connect planking with what it means to be human. Exactly. Planking is his old. We are not planking! Man did not pull himself out of a primordial stew and aspire to walk among gods inventing fire, the wheel, movable type, the engine, and flight... Soaring amongst the birds only to lie down in ridiculous positions. Planking! No! There will be no planking! What about last year's success? Can we revisit that? I think Mr. Buddy and Dr. Hill were really on point. They really captured the essence of the Christ School Week spontaneity. They captured something all right. Like a couple of third form boys chasing the Scudder's truck. People, we need to move this meeting along. I have a situation in my diaper. You know, last year's finale really struck a chord with the kids. They were hip, they were relevant. Heck, Henry's dad even got a mohawk for the glee dance sequence. He certainly did. No brain, no pain. Yeah, well that idiot needs to change my diaper as soon as possible. You, you kind of smell. <laughs> Quiet, Hank. He pooped himself, he pooped himself. Remember, people, it's never too early to start changing your diapers. What if we did have another faculty mohawk on stage this time? We've done that. Well, what about a reverse mohawk? Live. Listen, we're running out of time. Yeah, people, we need to begin to make some decisions here. What we need is to have someone get me a diaper. Some wipes and just a touch of scented baby powder. Is that too much to ask? Henry, I understand you have some concerns, but we need to push on to this idea of a pep rally. Well, we need a finale at the very least. Some sort of city upon a hill moment in the form of a shape note song like Chester, performed by Ben Groh imitating Jay Bonner as he imitates Bob Dylan. Does anybody even know what he's talking about? <laughs> well, Liv... It's not like humanities is the only course. Be Christ School! Now, Hazel, I'm just saying we need a big finish, the kind that Elvis would be proud of down there at Sun Studios.